All right. Get ready. And I'm going to let you folks strap on your freaking belt. I saw part of this earlier. This is this is powerful, powerful, powerful stuff. Get ready, Dan. You guys, I turn it over to you, my friend. Go blow, those. go blow their minds. I'm going to show you how to get over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in personal credit, and then I'm going to show you how to get almost double that in business credit. I don't care if you don't have business credit. I don't care if you have bad credit. There's always a solution. It's what you're willing to invest in. Let's go. Attention and warning. You must protect your personal credit at all costs. If you max it out, your credit will fall by like 200 points. So the goal is not, ladies and gentlemen, the goal is not to use personal credit for real estate. I'll say that again. The goal is not to use personal credit for real estate. If you do use personal credit for real estate, it is cheaper than hard money. And it also is a temporary solution, but do not get addicted to the temporary solutions. Credit is like relationships. You have to date banks before you marry them. Ladies, if a dude wants to just freaking go crazy with you and they just met you, the dude is a wacko, okay? Don't be a wacko to the banks. Credit is like relationships. You date them before you marry them. If you max it out, you're going to drain the system for you. So personal credit needs to be protected at all costs. You cannot afford to get into risky investments with your personal credit. You cannot afford to be leveraging your personal credit for your favorite guru that wants to sell you a $10,000 course and then upsell you to a $20,000 program that gives you gator funding or whatever else they give you. Okay. You cannot afford that bullshit. If you're going to leverage your personal credit, you better know what the hell you're getting into, what your exit strategy is. I'm giving you this disclaimer because I'm going to help you get $250,000 in personal credit, but I need you to understand that personal credit is really to help you get into the properties, to exit the properties, to get into business credit and to leverage business credit. Okay. Can we be agreed there that I'm not telling you to always and forever, ever use your personal credit. That is not what it's intended for. Banks know that that is not what it's intended for. Okay. Business credit is what you want to work towards but you need your personal credit solid first. And I'm gonna show you why. Your, 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 your credit is the foundation of everything you fucking do in business. Don't screw it up. Don't apply for bad shit. Don't believe your favorite gurus on YouTube. Okay, it is your foundation. Until you're making two to $5 million and your EIN has credit built out on it, your EIN cannot establish business credit on its own. Have fun with Divi. And have fun with your favorite guru that wants to get a bunch of affiliate income off your ass and pimp your ass for 10 to 25% for Divi, Capital on Tap. What's the other one? Uh, clear Card, all of this bullshit. And all the gurus telling you to build corporate credit with courses for $9.97. I know a bunch of them, I'm just holding my tongue right now. It's fake. It doesn't work. And the reason why people don't build business credit is they're absolutely confused because they have mixed messaging all over the place. We're going to leverage our personal credit to build business credit. We're going to do extremely fast and extremely efficient. So you need your personal credit fixed. Always have a plan so you don't get caught in utilization hell. The hardest thing to get out of is late payments on your personal credit and utilization hell. Dan, I'm stuck in utilization hell. Sorry. Watch my videos. Join my program. Be creative. Be credit is behavior. I'll say it again. Credit is behavior. You cannot fix somebody's credit. You cannot fix somebody's behavior. Everything in credit is behavioral. Okay? Let's get that together. Credit needs to be protected at all costs. Only, only, only use your credit for investments. Do not use them on Jordans. Do not use them on your stupid watch. Do not Fuck your Lamborghini and Mercedes, drive a Pinto or drive a motorized scooter and live in a third world country and build your portfolio, live below your means and use your credit like a debit card and leverage credit APR rates. That's what they won't tell you because they want you to sign up with their credit cards because they get paid $300, $400 for everyone you get approved for. Here, here's heaven. Here's heaven. Use my link. Here, let me fund you. Hey, let me repair your credit. And they're trying to pimp and whore out everything that they can. I am the credit profit. Let's go.
Relationship banking is key. You have to date before you marry. When I go over the no doc, low doc programs, some of these are going to be contingent on your banking relationship with them. Okay. It will take you where other strategies will not. Relationships in life, in business, in banking will take you relationships or take you places where relationships, anything else cannot take you. Relationships is the key. Relationship capital. That's why I play the long game. That's why I don't screw people. I don't, I play the long game. I'm not a novice. I'm not a rookie. I play the long game. Your credit score is your reputation. Your credit profile is your resume. There's two different. I'm not going to break down the scoring model. You can go to my YouTube channel and find that and go and YouTube it and watch all of your favorite gurus talk about it. I'm not here to talk about how your credit works. I'm here to talk about how to get the funding. I'm here to give you the stuff and not the fluff. Because if you don't know that, you got to go back to preschool and figure out how your credit score works. And you really need this program that we have. Okay. Because we, we that's we have to show people that because people have never been taught that. They don't know what they don't know. Okay. You need to build out both. Your reputation and your resume need to be built out both. Always know your data points. And like real estate investing, have a damn plan. Do not be careless with your personal credit. And every time you purchase something with that Amex, with that Navy Federal card, is this making me money? Or is, or is this costing me money? Even if it's a tax write-off, some of you guys need to be more disciplined. Your behavior needs to be disciplined, like for real. It's out of control. Your credit's behavioral, your spending's behavioral. Get it together. I'm not a Dave Ramsey guy, believe me. But dude, I'll be on, I guess I'll have to join Dave Ramsey's barbecue if you're buying dumb shit with your credit card, because that's not what it's intended for. You treat your credit card like your debit card, 0% all the time. And until you're making money, then you start travel hacking. Like my boy Renee says, shout out to Credit Gems. Your number one goal for credit cards should be 0% APR and never a travel hacking card, never a points back card. You, you, don't, you don't deserve it. Until you've made money and have a business, you don't deserve those luxuries. You need to build a business because if you build a business, it will serve you for generations. Strategy number one, no doc personal loans. There is a place for personal loans when you're getting into real estate, okay? Let's talk about it though. Have a plan for the loan. Never get into an installment debt loan without an exit strategy. So if you get into this loan, you better be able to give me your three month, six month, nine month, and 12 month exit strategy with this loan. Do not apply for a loan unless you have an exit strategy. That is called financial literacy. That is called responsibility. We leverage credit responsibly and we leverage credit aggressively. Responsible and aggressive can go together like a marriage, but you got to have a plan for the marriage. You got to be on the same page for the marriage or it's not going to work out. Some of y'all know that. Know your data points at all time. Read Facebook groups, go into Reddit, go into forums, watch YouTube videos, double check their ass. Sometimes they just put fluff out there to get views. You know what I'm talking about. Tons. It's just like, dude, everybody's trying to be an online YouTuber on finance because it makes money. But like all they do is, is take a Facebook uh, post and they make a video about it and they don't fact check anything. <laughs> you're, 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 man, you're following, you're, 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 hey, listen, you're following some crazy people, man. I, 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 would, I would check my circle for real. Do not ask for no doc programs. Hey, do you have a no doc program? I heard you had no doc program. I heard Radical Marketer Facebook group. I can get no doc program. What the hell are you doing, man? You're gonna raise red flags. Nobody's gonna work with you. What you say things is like, hey, listen, I'm thinking about getting a loan with you guys. What do you require? I like to have my ducks in order so that way I can come presentable and get the highest offer. How many pay stubs do you need from me? What type of credit score is required? Do you know where they pull from? Because I, I really am responsible for my credit and I don't want it being ran all over the place. Bankers respect that. Dance with them. Do you know how to salsa? Learn how to salsa. Learn how to merengue a little bit. Do some footwork. I don't overanalyze. I just do what works. I take the leap of faith. Some of you guys need to learn how to step out on the boat. You've been waiting to step out, step out, step out. Listen, I'm going to say this right now. Write this down. Faith is the breeding ground for your miracle. If you don't believe it, it will never work for you. And you can't work it unless you believe it. So if you don't believe real estate investing will work for you, it won't work for you. And this program won't work for you. If you believe real estate investing will work for you, okay, good. Now find a program. Now find a coach. Now find a mentor. Now find a community and invest in yourself. 
this one or some other one. I don't care. Bottom line is you're made for a relationship and you need guidance in this so you don't wreck yourself. Don't be a freaking moron. I'm saying this in love because I, I mean, dude, I may never talk to you in person, but I would hate to have any information that I say screw up your life. I don't want to overhype anything. I don't want to romanticize anything. I want to tell you the real. I want to be real with you because you deserve to have somebody be real to you. I've created the Radical Market of Mentorship Program because I wanted a program that I didn't have for myself. And I almost say that with teary eyes in my eyes. I've been scammed. I've been led astray. I've been taken advantage of left and right. I spent thousands and thousands of dollars hoping things were right. I've only joined one program that actually changed my life. Shout out to Vanessa Lau. Okay, I paid $20,000 to be in that mentorship program. Changed my life. But I was scared to death when I gave $20,000. That's $20,000. And it wasn't for one time. It was for one year. But I'll tell you this. When I made that investment last October, I can't even tell you. I work with her team now. I'm really good friends with her now. Some of you guys don't know Vanessa Lau, YouTuber. You'll figure her out real quick. Almost a million followers on YouTube. We're friends. I have her network. I have her team working for me. Uh, dude, like when she comes back out of her hiatus, we'll be creating content together. I, I built solid relationships with seven figure earners. You don't know what you don't know. But when you get in the room with giant killers, you become a giant killer. When you get in a room with millionaires, you start thinking like a millionaire. You got a poverty mindset, spend $5,000. You learn how to break it quick. All right. I'm not scared of the offer. Are you scared of the offer? Because I'm going to show you how to get the offer money right now if you don't have it. And if you have it, then use your card and then go get one of these cards and do a balance transfer and pay it off in 21 months. Sounds like a good deal, right? Only apply for credit at one time and then go in the garden and then go in the harvest. We have our harvest time. We have our garden time. Our harvest times where we apply for all of the credit at one time. Say, I will not apply for credit unless it's at one time. Put that in the chat. I will only do it at one time. Why? Because every inquiry matters to you on the personal side. Everyone matters to you on the personal side. We will do our funding rounds in six month increments. Every six months, we will go for funding. One round every six months. You get two harvest seasons every six months. You got a six, you know, every six months. Okay? That's how we're going to do it. The first person alone, you can get up to $50,000. This is from the Penn Fed website. Don't believe me, go fact check me. Loans up to $50,000. That's a five-year loan. It's not the greatest interest rate, but hey, listen, it's cheaper than hard money. Okay, no origination fee, no hidden fees. You don't have to be military to get into Penn Fed, ladies and gentlemen. You can walk in the door, get this $50,000 piece of cake, 680 credit score or higher. Now, if you get into this, all right, uh, this is gonna pull from Experian, just so you know. Um, this hard pull, the, the thing, the thing is with this right here, you can actually check your rate before they actually hard pull you. So it's a soft pull pre-qualification and it's very accurate. So you can soft pull yourself, see where you're at before you move forward with them. You can actually do this before you join them, uh, if you want to as well. Okay. Unless they've changed that recently, but that's 50 K right there. Personal loan, no docs required. Now there are some situations where documents are required. If you have a lower credit score. If you have anything negative on your credit report, if there's anything internally that they see that they don't like, they can ask for them. But I have many mentees that have had this, 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 this loan with no docs required. Okay? So just so you know. Well, they asked me for docs. Well, sorry, Chuck. You know, not your good luck. Give them the docs. Okay? There's also ways as a business owner to provide documents for yourself legally. We talk about that in the program as well, but we're not talking about that right now. The Navy Federal Person Alone. I'll talk about that. Okay. $50,000. As you can see, this is, I'm not fluffing, dude. It's right here. Okay. $50,000. This is just from the website. Their APR is kind of high, right? But remember, what's your plan for the loan? Hard money's high. What's your opportunity cost? It's all about the opportunity cost. If you wrap in your opportunity cost and you're still profiting from the deal and the numbers still work, it's a good deal. Joe will tell you that himself. So $50,000 personal loan, no docs required. You get funded in five minutes. I said five minutos, okay? Cinco minutos, all right? Five minutes, right to your account. You apply, 
You sign a promissory note, send your checking account five minutes. I've done it, so I know. It's a transunion hard pull, 680 credit score or higher, but actually this can actually go lower if you have a relationship with them. We have somebody with a 500 credit score that got approved for a $25,000 credit card with Navy Federal. They can take 30% off of that, which is, I don't know, $7,500 and go buy a property right now. Eli's probably in the chat, all right? This is a massive, massive deal, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I don't have military. Okay, we talk about that in the program, how to get into Navy Federal without being military. There's a lot of different hacks and we talk about the safe ones so you don't get your account shut down or audited, all right? So just know that that's in the program, all right? There's also a home improvement loan, okay? A lot of people don't talk about this because they don't know about this. They just copy credit plug and my information, all right? Shout out to the plug, love the guy. Anton, you're amazing. All right, so the Navy Federal Home Improvement Loan will work really well for people that have a property. Now, if you don't have a property, it won't work for you, okay? I've had a couple people tell me it did, but I, I, I'm skeptical, dude. I'm skeptical Hughes over here. If you don't have any real estate, then just go do the personal. Don't do these stupid things that you hear about in these RPX groups about turning an auto loan into a personal loan. It's bank fraud. It's not good. Basically, the play is don't turn in the don't 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 turn in the paperwork for the car, and then it'll turn it into a personal loan. Just apply for the damn personal loan and stop trying to defraud the bank. Okay, we don't talk about anything that's unethical. We leverage the legal system. We leverage the credit system to its full capacity. And I came out of RPX, so I know. There's a lot of shit I don't like about it, okay? There's some good stuff, taught me some stuff, good people in there. Also, a lot of frauds in there, okay? But with that being said, don't do the auto loan to personal loan hack. It's absolute bullshit and it'll get you in big trouble and you don't want that. If you, if you don't have a property, apply for the personal loan. If you do have a property, apply for the home improvement loan. Why? It says no collateral is required. That means it's an unsecured loan, people. Notice this here. Sorry, oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting excited, okay? You can apply online for the personal loan. But the home improvement loan, you can't apply online. You have to call in or go into the branch. Now, my boy, Shimori, is Shimori still on the call, Joe? I believe so. Look in the chat. Is Shimori still on the call? Shimori, you still on the call? Yeah, he's Please. here. Shimori's still here. Shimori got a $100,000 pledge loan for... Uh, what was it? Uh, 180 months. Okay. They don't talk about that on YouTube. All right. But he did. 180 months because he was going to use the pledge loan for home improvement purposes. But the bottom line is you can get this loan, $50,000 out of 180 months, Joe. Is that a cheaper payment than 50000 at 60 months? I believe so. Bit, like by three times cheaper, right? Just about, yeah. So if they can get this with no docs required and they can get this, you know, by over the phone or going into a branch and they can use this for improving their rental property or they can use this for improving their property that you taught them how to get. Do you think that that would be valuable, Joe? A $50,000 unsecured loan that they can get with no docs by just Extremely having a relationship? Valuable. Okay. Okay. You're working with funding companies and they don't even know how to do this kind of stuff. All right, next thing, $40,000 loan from American Express, but you have to be one of their customers. Of, again, in all fairness, you have to be a customer of Navy Federal. You have to be a customer of Navy Federal. You don't have to be a customer of PenFed. No military requirement here, military requirement here, or affiliation, or family and re roommate, that roommate hat, okay? American Express, 40000 Again, check your offer, soft pull. Oh, this is beautiful. I can see ahead of time if I'm going to be approved or not. And if I am, you don't have to give documentations for American Express because you're already a customer. They already see you're spending behavior. It's all about behavior, guys. It's going to get more and more about behavior as AI comes into banking, but you don't know about that either. Okay? $40,000 funded, okay? I think the, the I, don't, I forget how long the term is on this one. You guys can go look for yourself. But $40,000 experience, 720 plus score, you got to be a client of American Express. Right there, Joe, I taught them how to get $40,000 with American Express. That's an Experian. Navy Federal is going to be TransUnion. Penn Fed uh, will be an Experian hard pull. Their credit cards are Equifax. It's a little bit different. They used to have a personal, a personal line of credit 
but the personal line of credit went away with PenFed. Economy's changing, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but we're in a recession. I call it a depression. So a lot of the stuff's going to go away. But I want you to know we have a lot more no doc personal loans that we have in the program. Next month, we're doing 10 funding calls. I'd be in the room if I were you. Mentees, get excited. It's going to be 4th of July 10X. Strategy for a personal line of credit. So we have our personal loan, which you apply for one time and you get a lump sum of money. And then you pay every single month an amortized interest rate. That's why we don't like these because you got to apply for them every time you want them. The personal line of credit is you apply one time and you have like a nest egg for a rainy day that you can tap into whenever you want, AKA capital on tap without being a dumb credit card. 50,000, 100,000, let's look into it. Here's what you need to know. Lines, personal lines of credit are amazing for liquid capital. When you need to be a cash buyer, you go into your 0% business cards, or you go into your personal line of credit, or you use your nest egg from your loan that you got from the last three that I showed you that had no docs required, okay? You use these personal lines of credit for liquid capital, but be careful again, be careful. The difference between a personal line of credit and a personal loan is a personal line of credit is revolving, right? So it reports every month utilization. Amortized loan is different goes off a of DTI, you're not gonna go there deep. Bottom line is, is you can use the loan, your score is not gonna plummet. This right here, your score is gonna plummet if you max it out and don't pay it off before it's reporting date, okay? It will kill you. your scores. There's no difference of maxing out a personal line of credit or maxing out a credit card. Let me ask you a question. If you have, a deal that can nail you $50,000 in profit after repair costs in 90 days, would you max out your credit card for 90 days to get $50,000 in profit? Put yes or no in the chat. Joe, tell me what people are saying. I can't see the chat. Looks like a huh? resounding yes to me. So you're willing to, to tank your score for $50,000? Not financial advice, entertainment purposes only. Don't believe anything I say. I'm a liar. Okay. That's my disclaimer right there. Don't believe anything I say. Okay. I'm an absolute moron. Don't believe me. Okay. I would 1,000% max out every single one of my fucking credit cards to get a property that's going to net me $50,000 to $100,000. Absolutely, because the credit's fake. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to somebody else. And now you get to give me a property where I can leverage that property to pay off that debt right away. Oh, hell yeah. And I can use that creative finance that Joe teaches to pay back that, that debt right away in 90 days. My score goes back up and I'm happy Charlie again. There is a time, there is a place to max out our business. I'm sorry. There's a time and a place to max out our personal lines of credit and our credit cards. But you have to know that time. You have to know that deal. But that's what they're there for is for you to use them. But you have to have a coach like Joe to show you how to do it right. What is the right deal to max it out for? What is the right deal to go all in for? Okay. PLOCs usually, usually require proof of income. However, there are small banks and relationship banks out there. That is the hack. You use personal lines of credit to pay off your 0% credit cards. So you pay minimal interest. Then you get a 0% credit card to pay off the HELOC or you leverage your property, get creative financing on that to pay off your, HELOC, uh, your personal line of credit. Guys, it's just moving money around. You have to learn how to juggle this stuff. It's a science. It's an art. And once you learn it, that's why people charge $20,000, $10,000 for these programs. Guys, I hope you really understand what you're getting right now. Connect the credit union. I'm not making this up right now. There's a $100,000 personal line of credit if you qualify. Will everybody qualify? No, I'm not trying to get you excited. But what happens if you do? What happens if somebody right now has their actual shit together watching me and can qualify for this? Joe, what could they do with a $100,000 personal line of credit? Well, off if they hard pull, off if one they, hard pull. If they stay tuned to after you after your credit pull, I'm going to show them exactly what and they can do. Huh? Unify. This is one of the banks that I got a personal line of credit with no docs required. Now I didn't get fifty thousand. I got fifteen thousand, but that was in the beginning of my credit journey. Signature line of credit goes up to fifty thousand dollars. If you have bad credit, this is a great place to go because there's tons of credit rebuilding products here at Unify as well. 
their credit cards go up to 50K, their personal, letter, uh, their personal uh, lines of credit go up to 50K, and there's a ton of different credit products there that help you rebuild your credit. Phenomenal bank. The only downside is this doesn't have a business banking. I would have to double check about Connect. I'm getting old. But Unify is only deals with personal products. Okay? But that's 50 rip right there. Okay. So this is 150,000. I don't care if you guys want. I mean, I have an entire list of more. How about instead of me trying to charge you 10 to 25% to get you funded, I just teach you how to fish for your damn self. High lines of credit. I got a ton more. I'm reserving those for people in the mentorship out of respect for my team here in Radical Nation. All right. 0% APR credit cards. Here's what you need to know. 0% APR credit cards are interest-free loans. Put that in the chat. 0% credit cards are interest-free loans. However, again, I'm going to tell you to be careful. Personal lines of credit and 0% credit cards, if you max them out, you will be in utilization hell. So you better have a plan. Okay? Now, when you have a plan that works and you're with somebody like Joe and you found the deal, freaking liquidate them. Go all out. Get as many of these cards as you can when you don't need them. So when you need them, you can use them all together and nothing can tell you no. How do you like that financial freedom? But they don't want to talk about this because it's radical and contrary. Don't max out your credit cards. Okay, bitch. Like, why? Why? Why wouldn't I? When I'm going to profit? I'm so over the mainstream cookie cutter answers, the political stuff. Most financial advisors have got corn cobs stuck up their ass. They absolutely don't know what they're talking about. The 401k is the biggest scam on earth. Get a self-directed IRA, get whole life insurance, do velocity banking and infinite banking, get learning your cash flow properties, build wealth, man. Stop with the cookie cutter blog stuff. Stop with the travel hacking. Stop with the, the reels and the stories about travel hacking and start doing reels and stories about how you're actually doing things in life. Stop with the facade. Stop with the mask. Do the work. 0% cards are amazing debt weapons to get quick liquid capital. One of these ways are balance transfer checks and convenience checks. We can talk about that more later on. Those that know, know that those are amazing. Okay. But they're even more amazing on the business side, which we're going to get to. Balance transfers and purchases are different, so you need to know that. All right, so 0% credit cards with Citi, they're the king of it. They have four cards right now with 0% offers on purchases and balance transfers. Oh, my God. So if you actually use the credit card that you have, and I know that you have one because you watch my channel, and I'll call you a liar if you say you don't have one, okay? You can use this as a balance transfer, okay? The What I love about Citi is all of the, so all the credit limit increases are a soft pull through the app, not through the phone. Not through the website, through the app, just like Navy Federal. So if you have a city card, go ahead and soft pull to do a credit limit increase and check to see if you have any hidden offers of 0% because they offer them all the time. Most of the time, you'll have something what they call a flex loan where they can actually offer you a loan off your line of credit. But or again, again, warning to you, this is a revolving line of credit. So even though they're breaking it into a loan or making it into payments for you, it's still going to reflect on your utilization. I am not trying to overhype and you know romanticize. It will go against your utilization, okay? So flex loans are for specific purposes. In this situation, if you wanted it for a couple months and the balance transfer to business credit card, hey, do your thing. But I love City because they always have 0% offers on purchases and balance transfers, soft pulls on credit limit increases. Flex loans available. I love City. They're just not sexy to people. But hey, dude, I like what works. Let's look at the one. This is the king of 0% for City. It's called the Diamond Card. 21 months of balance transfers at 0%. I mean, my God, we might have a new president or we might have Biden back again. But bottom line, you're going to get 0%. So the, the, the election will be over by the time you have to pay this back. 15 months balance transfer, 0%, 15 months on purchases for 0%, cash back on this card too. So get some cash back too. I mean, it's great. Guys, it's not hard. It's not rocket science. 12, 12 months balance transfers, 12 months purchases. But guys, look at this. Look at this. This joker right here. There was something about this that I liked. Uh, 21 months on balance transfers. Let's go. We have 21 months of balance transfer, 0%. I said like the diamond card. I had a double, double slide there. Sorry about that. We also have Wells Fargo. Okay, 0% personal credit cards. This one right here goes uh, 12, 21 months APR, same thing. 
Now, what I love about Wells Fargo, I know everybody hates Wells Fargo. I get it. They're crooks, they're thieves. But listen, dude, I've built the most amazing relationship with Wells Fargo. I'd be damned to have to see if anybody has a better relationship with them in this chat than me. Okay. I started off with the platinum card. Then it went into the active cash card. Okay. That limit is up to a $30,000 limit, all from soft polls. Was approved for $10,000, got it up to a $30,000 limit to build up my portfolio. All soft polls never did a hard poll. They give me 0% offers all the time on it. So if you're trying to build your profile, you need these cards that give you credit limit increases that are soft pulls because you never should be getting a hard pull for a credit limit increase, okay? You build relationship on the personal side, you'll get a crazy relationship on the business side. They, I have even know people that got a $100,000 personal loan. I didn't put this in the slide deck, but a $100,000 personal loan with no docs required just by being a personal customer of Wells Fargo on the loan side. I'll say that again. I know somebody specifically that got a $100,000 personal loan because they did personal banking with Wells Fargo with no documents required because they saw the behavior of the banking relationship with the customer. 100 grand, no docs. Use it for whatever you want. There's power in relationship. I don't know how many times I have to say this. Again, we have more about this in the mentorship. Personal funding. Now let's talk about this. Let's talk about this thing called credit stacking. Oh God, this is where it gets juicy. Let me get some coffee real quick. Google credit stacking. You're going to find every parrot and fraudulent funding company. Don't tell me you do funding. I will call you a fraud. Okay. Everybody put fraud funding company equals parrots. Throw the parrots with funding. Funding companies, parrots, credit repair, parrots. We're going to teach the culture. And we're going to put these companies out of business. Until we step up against them, they're going to keep and taking advantage of our communities, okay? I could be freaking rich if I did this, but I'm not because I care about people. I want to teach you how to fish. I don't want to fleece you. Credit stacking, you always got to know your data points. You can credit stack yourself. You have to have a funding plan. You have to map out your strategy. Remember, every six months, we're going to go for funding with all three bureaus. If you do this a couple times, you're going to build out a crazy portfolio. And if you do this smart, and I can teach you how to do this, we can set you up where you're only getting credit cards that do soft pull credit limit increases. So you can take those $10,000, $5,000 limits up to 50K on the personal side, which then when you go for the business funding, they see that, damn, Wells Fargo gave them 50, Chase gave them 50, this, all this stuff. And then they give you more, okay? So you want to make a funding plan and you want to, execute these applications at one time. And when I say one time, I mean within one to two hours. This is why. When you apply for these products, you're applying through bureaus, which I'm going to show you the funding sequences. Okay, I'm going to go through it with you. You're not applying for all these things with the same bureau. You're targeting three products with Equifax, three products with TransUnion, and three products with uh, Experian. You'll say, but won't they see the inquiry? No, they won't because different banks pull from different bureaus. So if I'm applying with Navy Federal, they're not pulling Equifax. They're not pulling Experian, unless I apply for a business card with a uh, Navy Federal. But the bottom line is, is you have three bureaus that you attack with three different products for three different hard pulls. And then you pull back, okay? That's called credit stacking. I will teach you it all in my program. If you want it, that will pay for the program by itself. My program's $1,500 over 641 mentees, over 80 master classes, over 4,800 minutes of content and a lifetime access. Personal funding sequence, Experian, personal line of credit. We're gonna go for a $40,000 personal line of credit from Unify. And we're gonna attack a $25,000 card with Wells Fargo and, and Bank of America. And we got the data points for that. Three hard pulls, one pull. We're gonna go first with, we're gonna go first for the PLOC with the first pull. And then we're going to go two and three with Wells Fargo and Bank of America. It's going to give us $90,000 in personal funding. Does everybody understand how we can get $90,000 in personal funding with three hard pulls? Yes or no? It all no. looks like yeses to me. Okay. So you're telling me that you could just take this slide right here and have $90,000 for your life and for your business. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Do not remove your inquiries on your personal. 
Do not listen to the parrot. Can I remove my inquiry when I apply for it and I didn't get it yet? No. You never, ever, ever, ever dispute inquiries on open accounts. Never, ever, ever challenge the inquiries on open accounts, ever. I don't care if you have a card and you applied for another card and you got denied. Never ruin the relationship by lying. Don't defraud the bank. Do you understand me? Here's Equifax. So this three polls, when you do these three polls, TransUnion doesn't see them and Equifax doesn't see them, right? So you got $90,000 and TransUnion and Equifax don't know about it. Why? Because they didn't report to your, your bureaus yet. The hard poll did just on Experian, but the accounts haven't hit the actual profile. That is why car lots always want you to buy more cars at one time because they haven't reported yet. So it doesn't go against your DTI, All right? I had some idiot say car, that car salesman, I almost called him out on the sales floor. He said, yeah, the more cars you get, the better credit you get. What the hell? Because somebody says, I heard that when you get a car loan, it helps you build your credit. He's like, yeah, the more car loans, the more car loans you get, the better credit you get. No, dude, the more funding you can never get approved for because your DTI is trash. But that's another story. Equifax. We got a personal loan with DCU. If you don't know DCU, go to my channel. DCU, I think they're out in Massachusetts. They're open for everybody. Pretty good credit union. Sometimes their customer service is a little wonky, but whatever. We're going to get a $30,000 personal loan with them. But Joe, check this out. They don't start collecting payments from them for 60 days after they open their account. So they have two months of cash flow before they even have to make their first personal funding play. You can get... You wow. can get $30,000 from DCU and not have to make your first loan payment for 60 days. Do not bitch and complain about the money to invest in yourself. Use the bank to invest in you and then take that money and go make money and get real assets. Stop buying these stupid courses. Buy a mentorship. You understand? $90,000 right here. PenFed is going to give you 0% credit card. 25,000, you can get 25,000 from city. Okay. Well, Red, Red, not everybody's gonna get the $90,000. Okay, bonehead. What happens if you get half of that and you get 45,000 and 45,000, you're still at 90,000, right? Yeah, knucklehead. Don't come at me, miss me with that stuff. We understand that this is gonna be ideal credit situations and not everybody has that. But let's go back to the numbers. If you get only 45,000, and 45,000, that's 90,000. And I got the disclaimer here. Don't wipe the inquiries because the parents are going to tell you to do that, to go get more funding. They're cute, you know? It should be models. TransUnion. Okay, I have a $50,000 loan. I told you about Navy Federal or the home improvement loan, whatever one you want to do. This one's no docs, right? 25,000 Elon Financial. We're going to break that joker down in a second. Okay, and the business side. 0%, that can go up to 21 months. $25,000 platinum. Why didn't I say the flagship card, guys? Because the platinum 0% on purchases at times. You want to double check because it can go away. So don't fact check me yet. I definitely think it's on balance transfers right now. Okay, so you got to check that out. But what you do is you start with the platinum to get the 0%. And then once that 0% goes away, you call them up in a year and say, hey, I would like to do a product change into the flagship card. And then you do a credit limit increase. And that card goes up to $80,000. This is information you don't want to know. It's not worth $5,000, right? To get $100,000, you wouldn't pay $5,000? And that's just off. Joe, I can't become a real estate investor because I don't have the money. You know, I'll save up in my job and one day I'll buy a house. You'll waste your whole life. You'll waste your whole life. Time is the biggest asset every rich person values. Ask Warren Buffett. Ask Steve Jobs. Ask my mother who's in heaven right now. She wishes she had more time with me. She died at 53 years old from stage four cancer. Do you understand that life is precious? You don't have the much time to be waiting around. You have to implement and use every single thing in your life that you can to get your purpose across. This is not the time to play games. Two hard pulls, $100,000 in personal funding. 25, 25, 50, that's 100. Oh, Dan, everybody's going to get 100,000. Okay, knucklehead. 
then let's just say you get 25,000 total. 25,000, 25,000, 25,000. You're still at damn near $100,000 that you have for real estate investing to do what Joe tells you what to do. You don't get this, man. There's no freaking program out there that has a dude like him teaching my students real estate and having his own mentorship as well. Because I wouldn't have put Joe on the platform if he wasn't a man of integrity, if he didn't have results, and if I didn't bet him. And why bring a stranger in when I already have carrots growing in my backyard? You understand? Greatness is sitting in your backyard in your own household, but you're overlooking because you're looking for a Kardashian. Bars, bro. Personal funding. Back to this. Day. Here's, your, here's your funding, guys. $270,000. Like I said, nine hard pulls. 50000 from Navy Federal. 25,000 in the credit card, 25,000. We already went through that. It's 100,000, 40,000. And this goes up to 50. I was being conservative. 0% Wells Fargo, unexperienced. And then 20, uh, then, then uh, I didn't mean to put 250,000. I'm sorry about that. A zero got in the way. That's, I'm used to zero. That's a big one. <laughs> okay. 25, 25, and 40 is 90. 90 plus 100 is 190 plus another 90. Okay, my math is wrong. Do your own math. But that's the bottom line. You can get 250. Math right. This is another 80. Equifax is 80. Yep. You guys, you literally can get that. Okay, Rad, I'm not going to get that right there because that is for perfect credit. Well, not really. It's for good credit. But if we want to be conservative, how about half of that limit? What, $135,000 change your life? Joe. You're going to show them what they can do with 135000 just for per This is not building business credit. You have no business. You have no business credit. You're just leveraging your damn name. You're not leveraging your capital. You're not leveraging your assets. You're just leveraging your social security fucking number to get $135,000 in funding. You tell me, can you afford this? I'm not scared of the offer because it makes sense. Do you make sense? Fuck net 30s and no PG credit. That's a scam. That's a scam. All right. We are going to leverage your personal credit, but we have to build out the damn report. That's why we go back over to here. We're going to focus on the personal side. It may take you a year. Yeah. Good things take time, but wouldn't you want to build it right, Charlie? So that way we can come over here and do some big boy moves. Everything takes time. You can't rush art. This is an art form. Okay, we're going to start here. We're going to build your score and build your resume. We're going to get funded right. Guys, I have, a, I have a module that's seven hours long of how to repair your credit without credit repair. Yep, absolutely. I have another eight-hour call in my program about the biggest credit secrets and myths that we did for eight hours. Eight hours, okay? That's <laughs> shift of a day, okay? I do more work than you work at your job, okay? Uh, how to build your credit from scratch properly. I, I don't know what else to say. This stuff can change your life. Business funding requirements. Okay, we go for that. We're going to leverage our personal credit to co sign for your business and personally guarantee the debt. Yeah, that means you're going to put your name on the line like a big boy, like a big girl, because you're in business and everything's a risk. When you walk out in California, you could drop out in the ocean. When you go down to Florida, it can be eaten up by a hurricane. And when you're in Texas, there could be a drought and you can never have an ounce of water again. Life is dangerous. Get over it, take risks, walk on water, and make your shit happen in life. Okay, the debt for your business, which builds business credit fast. This is what you need. 720 plus credit score. For, we're going for business funding now. This is not personal credit. We're going for business funding. We need a 720 plus credit score. And the worse the economy gets, the higher the score. We need four reporting primary trade lines on your credit profile. Not AUs. Don't come at me with these AUs. Okay, less than two inquiries per bureaus in the last six months and less than two new accounts in the last six months. That's your framework. No late payments, no collections. If you got those, you got to work on it. Got to get in the group, stop paying credit repair and get into a program that can actually help you. No bankruptcies, nor foreclosures. You know what's so crazy, Joe, is once they learn this financial literacy, they can get people into subject to deals and wholesale and all types of stuff. They can tell people financial literacy, hey, you know what? You're going to lose your home right now, but you're not going to lose the war. You're going to lose this battle. But this battle 
is going to put you into a nicer home because we're going to save your credit. You're not going to have a foreclosure on. We're going to take over the payments and we're going to pay you and work out a deal so you can live rent free for the next 12 months. We're going to take over your home. We're going to rent it to you. We're going to do, we're going to be creative in solving your problem. You're going to give us your failing property and we're going to take it over. We're going to solve a problem, but how can you have this conversation if you're not able to articulate it? Welcome to Radical Marketer. Okay. Here's the business uh, investing strategies. After I show you this, there is no reason for you to not invest in real estate. Damn, Joe doesn't even know this information. Joe just knows how to buy a shit ton of real estate. Joe does, Joe joined this for this right here. Is that true, Joe? 100% true. <laughs> okay. Fun. Joe does not know all this, what I'm about to show you, but Joe can tell you how to leverage this. Joe, how many real estate investors are properly using business credit in real estate investing? Less than 10. Okay. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how much you really want this. We're okay. going to leverage OPM, other people's money to build well. Business credit is the major cheat code. Okay. He said less than 10%. I said over 75%, you know, whatever. Okay. So I guess it's less people than I know about nor are they familiar with business credit. It's overwhelming. I don't have a business. This is all this bullshit. You know, they don't know what they don't know. Okay. Once you master building business credit, it's game over. So what are the types of business credit? Okay. We're not going to talk about business loans here, guys. We're going to talk about business credit cards and business lines of credit. We talk about the business loans, the SBA loans, the high income funding, all that type of stuff in my program. I do not have the bandwidth to talk about it. We've already been going like four hours. But I will go over the two sexy topics that all your favorite parrots talk about. Let me see the parrots in the chat. All right. What are the benefits of business credit? Business credit does not report to your personal credit. 90% doesn't. The ones that do, Capital One, TD Bank, I think Discover too. That's all I can think of. Okay. You get three to five times higher the limits than your personal credit. And you're going to be able to separate your business from your personal so you can get your ass sued off. Why? Because the moment that you have money, people are going to try to sue your ass and pierce the corporate veil. If you don't have your accounting right, if you're commingling funds, if you don't have holding companies and asset protection, your ass is done. There is people that literally target rich people and just sue their ass off and have them pay a settlement. Tell me I'm wrong, Joe. No, 100% right. That's why we do a whole set, set on asset protection and LLC formation. You can even legally get business credit without owning a business. Let me show you how. Just apply for business credit cards as a sole proprietor. Leverage your personal credit. No funding company is needed. Interest-free loans. It's, it's, this is a difference. The personal business credit cards is 0%. They reported it to personal credit, right? They went against your, your utilization. These don't. So do not fall for these scams. Ready? Charging people 10 to 25% commission fees for applying for business credit cards is unethical. Amen? Yes or no? There's the parrots. So there's the parrots. Funding companies, you know, no-name people that talk about million dollars of funding and 0% cards up to $250,000 in minutes. It's all 0% business credit cards that you can apply for yourself. You can learn it from me. You can learn it from Credit Plug and Herb Official and Mr. Credit Gems. Those would be the four influencers that I would recommend to you. They have the relationship managers that they call up the banker and they push the deal through. If underwriting comes back to them, they just do it all. This is the key to all these people getting these in cards at 75,000, this and that. They promise their relationship. We have relationship bankers in the program. How easy is it to get 0% business credit cards? Well, you can get one right now. Let's talk about it. What do you need in order to get 0% business credit cards? Not much at all. Business credit cards, what best places to get 0% credit cards? Let's show you. Well, for those of you that have American Express, you can go get one right now. Soft pull. You can max this thing out and it never hurts your score. Go I get you. Know, I did not know this until Dan told me. <laughs> okay. They can go to Nate. They can go to American Express, get the Blue Business Plus card or the Blue Business Cash. It does not hard pull them if they're a customer. If you're not, it'll be a hard pull from Experian. You can max it out. You can buy the program. 
But you have 12 months to pay for it. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas. Also, if you have American Express cards, you can do a credit allocation, meaning you can move your personal limits to your business cards. You can, if you have $30,000 on the personal side, you can call up Amex and say, I'd like to move this $30,000 limit to my business card. Your business card gets approved for $10,000. Now you have a $40,000 business card at 0%. Dude, that's going to be a game changer for somebody. And you can combine this with charge cards. There's so many card charge hacks I can't even put on here. There's, there's ways that you can. Oh, man, there's, there's some crazy hacks that have not been talked about and that people do not know about. We'll talk about that in the program. Plum card. This is one I really love for real estate investors and e-com because this does not have a preset spending limit. It's algorithmic. I can never say that word. But you can have a $100,000 limit on a plum card and basically spend $100,000 and you only have to pay $10,000 of it in 30 days and the rest of the $90,000 in 60 days. Meaning you have to pay 10% of the balance in 30 days and the, the remaining 90 in 60 days. So this is a really good bridge loan card. Because let's say, let's say that you got the DCU loan, right? And you don't have to make your first payment for 60 days. You don't start using this plum card to the moment you have to start making your payment from your loan, right? You got to be able to move the money around. Debt weapons are debt weapons. They all have their purpose in your quiver. Uh, we have a, Joe, you don't even know this, but we have, a business banker from U.S. Bank that joined our program and had no clue about business credit. Did you know that? I did not I know a, that. I have a business relationship banker that he texted me the other day when I was in Australia. And he just said, hey, listen, if you have any clients that need business funding, I can get them high limits on the business cards because I only work with the business cards. But go ahead, guys. Go, go ahead and apply in your applications. You'll get less limits. Because the business relationship bankers are the key. And I don't need any of your money. I just need you to invest in yourself and, and add a value to my community. Because other people are waiting for you to show up. 0% business credit cards. There's four of them with Bank of America, Joe. Four. These are the four. I didn't even know that. There's a secured business credit card that actually builds business credit. You guys didn't know that either. And I mean, you guys know about the four cards in your, in your business name. So... I think there was a girl, Robin, I think her name was, she asked about how she could refinance her car, go to Bank of America, open up a business account, right? And then refinance your car, move it out of your personal name. Piece of cake, done in a day. This is Elon, okay? Not that Elon, okay? But this is the Elon at 0%. Chase business ink cards, and Elon financial cards are what every funding company is using right now, charging you 10 to 25%. So when they easily get you this massive amounts of funding that's so simple that I'm going to show you right now, they're literally taking advantage of people. Sad, man. This economy, no single mother deserves to pay $10,000 for them being able to apply for their own credit card. And if you think so, you don't have a heart and you're a horrible human. Business cards do not go against the 524 rule with, with Chase. Do this with a relationship banker. That's the way to do it, not online. The business relationship banker talks to underwriting directly and you can bypass the 524. So if you're 1024, you have 10 revolving lines of credit in the last 24 months, the business banker can bypass that with you. That's what they don't tell you. And they can submit that right to underwriting. And you can do a credit reallocation just like you could with American Express. Wait, Dan, they can do, you can do the Chase, you can, you can get around the Chase 524 rule by applying for a Chase business card? Yep, but these are only business cards. Business cards bypass the 524 rule, but it's gotta be done with a relationship banker. Did not know that. And 0%. If you guys go in the Facebook group right now, this is probably gonna be a parrot. So don't fall for the parrot shit, right? I'm gonna have a shirt with parrot shit don't buy the parrot shit. Let's see if you guys buy my t-shirt, okay? We got to get this message out about these freaking parrots. We have a parrot problem in the world, okay? It's a problem. And credit repair is, a, credit repair is the red parrot, funding parrots, the Verde parrot, okay? I woke up to this today. If you don't believe me, go into my own group. This gentleman, uh, Damon, he may be a parrot or he may be a person. I don't know. But 
He was approved this morning for one of my new businesses. This sounds like funding companies in my group. I got to go through and purge these termites, man. So hopefully he's a good human. Go check it out. You got 75K off that card, Joe. Zero percent. What could you do with that? Oh, baby. You're going to see in a little bit. You understand that my group is so valuable that the funding companies and credit repair companies go ahead like leeches. We're going to kick them out, though. We're going to get rid of these jokers in the, in the Facebook group. Now that I'm hiring a team, get rid of them so you can financially learn and grow without being manipulated and without being taken advantage of. You better watch out who you're talking to in the Facebook group because they may not be who they seem to be. These type of posts are usually to have people DM so that way they can have a consultation. So that way they can sign them up for their funding program, their mentorship program, and credit repair. These people don't just really offer this advice unless they're like a great human, humanitarian. And there's not a lot of us out here. Okay? So just be aware. Don't fall for the parachute. Okay? We got a lot more of that in the program. Let's talk about no-doc, low-doc programs. What is a no-doc program? A no-doc program is getting a business line of credit without having to give any documentation whatsoever. No profit and loss statements. No tax returns. Nothing, okay? There is credit unions, there is banks that will do it. You need to know the data points and what to apply for, when to apply for it, and which banks to apply with, and which relationship bankers would be great to work with. Some of them need that, some of them don't. Low doc programs are one year tax returns, three months bank statements. That's a low doc program. A full doc program, profit and loss statements, two years of tax returns, your, your, your kids you know, DNA, uh, your wife's social security number. I'm being facetious, of course, but they're going to ask for everything from you. So what is the easiest way to do real estate investing in 2023? It's not creative financing. It's BLOCKS. Mixed with creative financing. Not business credit cards, BLOCKS. Why? Because a BLOCK is a personal credit that doesn't report to your personal credit profile, which doesn't report your utilization, which doesn't drop your credit score. And you can get some big boy business lines of credit. Let's talk about it. Key things you got to know. No doc, low doc programs are disappearing fast due to the economic conditions, but they are still there. Gurus will tell you the uh, uh, due to the crazy money. Oh, the, basically, the, the this is huge, guys. They gatekeep this information because they want to sell you their age corporations to use these data points to get the massive amounts of high limit funding that they can. So they do the age corp game and they do the funding companies and they're protecting each other so that way they can get stupid rich off of people with the commission fees. This is what parrots do. They sell age corps and they do funding companies, they do credit repair. They're all the same bastards. Every one of them. If you're a bastard on the call, sorry, you're a parrot. Be a good human, get a different job, okay? No doc, low doc programs are the holy grail. And you do that again with relationship bankers. This right here is the Wells Fargo business line of credit. It's not what I made up. It's what it's on the website, okay? I got 65K. Hard pull from Experian. I'll take a hard pull for 65K, would you? They didn't ask for one document. They're actually, actually asking me if I want a credit limit increase from it. You tell me, soft pulls. It's right there, guys, right there. Unsecured, you secure nothing. Tomorrow, you better be in the call because tomorrow we're talking about secured stuff and that's going to even get sexier than this stuff. You guys want to know more about that? I got two videos on how to watch it. Go watch it. Go leave a like. First Citizen Bank, you guys can go watch that video. I break down the data points. That's a no-doc program as well. But we have a ton more no-doc, low-doc programs that I'll be breaking down next month for everybody. Mentees, you get excited. You're going to be able to have that. Credit to cash methods. We have secret credit to cash tactics, but out of the respect for the mentees in this room, we will only talk about this within the program. But there are legal ways of doing this. There's many people that will tell you to invoice your friend and then trust that they invoice you. That doesn't work. People's merchant accounts are getting shut down. We have horror stories about people joining different parrot groups and telling people to liquidate their credit cards through QuickBooks. And what's the other one out there? Melio and cash app and paypal they're getting their merchant accounts shut down they're losing their credit cards they're getting three-letter agencies calling them because when you're trying to liquidate cards 
And remember, anything over $10,000 is reported to the IRS by the banks, by the way. That's called the Secrecy Act. But there is a fine line between money laundering and manufactured spending. You better be careful what you're doing. We will show you the right ways to do it and the legal ways to do it. You go to jail, you get caught up in all these different problems. The crazy thing, guys, is anybody can get out of prison, get on YouTube, regurgitate information, and scam your ass. Tell me I'm lying. You know, there was a good prophet. You can call him the son of God. You can call him the prophet. You can call him the God man. He said, you will know them by their fruits. What's true, what fruit is that tree producing? I know I'm the cursing Christian. I curse like crazy. That's fine. I'm passionate. God loves me. Okay. But you're going to know people by their fruits. What's their consistency like? How are they showing up for other people? Rad, but you haven't been on YouTube in the last year. Yeah, because I've been taking care of my program and my mentees that paid me $1,500 that I've helped people 100,000 X their investment in more ways than one. You tell me. I'd be damned if I take people's money and don't deliver. I fucking deliver. Business funding. Experian. Here we go. We're going to a B-lock. We're going to get 50K, uh, 60K from Wells Fargo. I did it. You can do it. I'll tell you what I did, how much money I ran through the account. Then we're going to get a $50,000 Chase business card using a relationship banker. And we're going to use a $30,000 Amex Blue Business Plus card at 0%. Does everybody understand how I just got $140,000 using three hard pulls from Experian? Yes or no? Some people, because these report don't report to the credit, and this is up to you. I don't tell people how to be mor morale. I'm not the morale police out here. I'm just trying to get rid of the parrots, okay? But the bottom line is, is these do not report to your personal credit. So it's going to hard pull your personal credit, but it's not going to report these trade lines to your personal credit which means people get the funding for the business side and then they go wipe the inquiries and then they go for another round of funding in 30 days. So this could actually yeah. be 2X, 3X, 4X in six months. You can literally rank up $500,000 by doing that. So 140,000 business funding, three polls. You could wipe them and go for it again with three different banks. Here's business. Citizens Bank 50K, First Citizens Bank 50K. These are B locks. Then you're going to do two for the price of one because Truist, check this out. One pull, you can get two Truist cards, 0%, right? You got to know where these things pull from. That's part of knowing your data points, right? So you get 40K from Truist using one hard pull. You do one hard pull from Citizens and one hard pull from. First citizens, you say, Dan, that's three hard pulls, but what about NIH FCU? NIH FCU doesn't have a debit card. So when you do banking with NIH FCU credit union, you can get a massive credit card at 0%. That's a soft pull, not even a hard pull. Did you know that one? Nope. And most parrots don't either. Okay. Can the church? I say didn't even know that. <laughs> so there's 160,000. Plus 140,000. I hope your life has changed. I don't want any excuses when we get to the sales page. TransUnion, I will not tell you this lender. This lender right here, I will only tell my mentees. We will talk about it next month. This, this lender will give you $100,000 business line of credit when you run $25,000 through the account for 90 days. Three billing cycles, 90 days. 680 credit score, pulls from TransUnion on the personal side, no business credit established, three-month-old LLC, 100K business line of credit automatically approved, no underwriting. I'm done. I'm fucking done. $465,000 in business funding with nine total pulls. You can max these lines out for real estate. Does not report to personal credit. You build your personal then you can build a freaking kingdom. And then you go to Joe and say, Joe, how do I leverage this for real estate to build crazy wealth and use your creative finance strategies after that? You will be your own bank and nobody can mess with you. I hope this is changing your life. Is your mind blown yet? Is it registering?
business lines of credit, 0% business credit cards, 465K, there's your funding play. That's just one, just one. But once you know the data points in the business credit game, the sky is the limit. Do not tell me excuses that you can't afford this program. Tell me you do not want it or you do not value it. Let's just keep it real. Don't ask for a payment plan either. Use for a 0% credit card. Own it. Recap. Here we go. If you don't want to do the business side, there's 270000 right there. There's 465. You build this first in the first year, you get this in the second year. We got to build this in stages, guys. This is what we do in our program, by the way. I don't know if you guys like this style. If you guys rather have the regurgitated marshmallow stuff, go for it. Yeah, it's like Thursday mornings with, with Rad instead of Thursday evenings. Uh, this is, yeah, this, this is our like normal call tonight too. But I'm yeah. spending time with the Facebook group. All right, so give me a second here. Spend, I want to spend at least a couple minutes before we go into q and I want to show them people, kind of give them, blow them up a little bit to show them if you utilize Dan, the stuff that Dan just taught you, because we do everything with no money. Okay, but we're going to take a couple, just a couple of minutes before we go into QA. Let me run you through this. Okay, let's go to screen share. Let me give you some examples. This is where I left off. All right, okay. Let's let's talk about a couple of things that that uh, Dan, you see my screen, right? Yeah, I see it. I'm just getting some coffee, man. I've been talking a long time. No, go ahead. I'm good. deploying money for maximum results, and and, and this. If you're gonna go in, you want to spend the time, do this. This is all you're doing is taking taking uh, real estate investing and uh, putting it on steroids. I know I use that a lot, but I don't care because it's true. You're deploying money for maximum results. If you want, you don't need the money to do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're not. This is stuff. This is not fluff. Yeah, having money accelerates that process, no doubt about it. And I mean, let's just take a look. He was talking about. Let's just use a couple of examples. 50,000 available. Let's say you had 50,000 available. That may seem like a lot. If you just watched what Rad showed you, that shouldn't seem like a lot at all. So I think he got that thing up to near half a million, uh, which was crazy. I didn't even know a bunch of that stuff. So I, actually, I didn't know most of that stuff. Okay, he, he had 50,000 available. Let's just run through this right quick. He had 50,000 available in, in, in credit. With first thing you do, find a fixer for sale for $250,000 that requires $50,000 in repairs. And has an ARV. This is the after repair value of four hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so this place you need to buy for two hundred fifty thousand. It needs fifty thousand repairs. It's going to be worth four hundred thousand. Okay, so you're going to be three hundred into a four hundred thousand dollar home. You put if you have fifty thousand available, I would just go ahead and put the twenty five thousand down down towards the purchase. Find a two hundred fifty thousand hybrid mortgage. Remember we talked about this before with our private money lenders, right? Right. You got to, you, you can do this. It, it's very, very, this is well within the range, well within the range. You get a $250,000 hybrid mortgage from, because we need 300 total, remember? Because our, this is a hybrid, because it's going to, it's going to require the remodel. You got 25 down, apply your remaining 25 and the lender's 25 towards the remodel cost. Okay. Boom. There you go. Now you've got the DSCR refi finished project for $300,000. You, that, that means you refinance the property for three hundred thousand dollars, because we know now know that it's worth four hundred thousand. We bought it for two fifty. We put fifty repairs in. It's now worth four hundred. We know this all things. So follow me on this one, and let me know if you, if if I move too fast through this. You've just spent three to four months after you start this project. Three to four months you start the project, you now have funds to do two more projects. You follow what I'm saying there? Because you started with 50. You started with 50. You just made 100. Okay. Three to four months after the start of the second project, three to four months after the start of the second project, you now have the funds to do four projects. This is about your $50,000. So let me know if you follow me on this one. Okay. Nine to 12 months. This is in a year, folks. Nine to 12 months. You own seven properties, you have $700,000 in equity, and $2.8 million in value. You've exceeded your $3 million in a portfolio in a year. And by the way, $700,000 of its cash. That's what you can do with $50,000. These are the things I showed you before. These are the exact same deals that I showed you before. We're now just accelerating them by you being able to access $50,000 that Dan's going to show you how to get. You want to see some, you want to see some more? Let's say you got $100,000 available. By the way, each one of these things, 
that we do, you can do the same things we were talking about before, just do more of them. But I'm just going to give you a different example in each one. Okay. This is, this is kind of cool because Dan and I talked about this one time uh, and I wanted to share it with you guys. He said, once he asked me one time, what, if I had a hundred thousand dollars available, what, what would you advise me to do? This is what I would advise him to do. It's what I advise anybody to do. We take a hundred thousand dollars. We spend $5,000 on a marketing campaign, a marketing strategy that's going to attract zero equity homeowners. What are zero equity homeowners? These are the people that we talked about that did FHA, VA loans in the past two years that have maxed out their loans. These are loans that, you know, 97 to 100% and the homes have no value. I'm saying they don't have any value. They don't have any equity. They have plenty of value. They don't have any equity. They owe as much or more on the homes than when they bought them. Okay. This is people we're going to be attracting through our sub two uh, uh, campaign that we're going to be doing. Now we find we'd spend $5,000 on marketing to do that. We find the best 18 positive cash flowing homes and we employ our sub two strategy. Okay. That going in, we're helping these people out, helping them out of the position, show them how they don't have to go bankrupt. They don't have to go into foreclosure. They don't have to do any of these things. We're going to show them how to save all of this stuff and be and and be able to turn around and buy an, another home in 12 months or 18 months or whatever the hell it is. This works all the time with no money. We're going to find, spend $5,000 on marketing because we don't have to spend any money on marketing to do this. We're going to spend $5,000 to do it so that we accelerate the process. We're going to take the best 18 that we find, the best 18 that we find. And what are we going to do? We're going to add an incentive of $5,000 to each homeowner to accelerate your offer because they're going to have, they, they may have other offers. Other people are going to be doing this as well. So it's all going to, it's all about personality. It's about marketing. It's about relationships with people. This is how you're going to get these deals. You want to bypass that and accelerate it? Just offer them $5,000. Offer five thousand freaking dollars, and they don't care if they hate you. They're getting five thousand dollars out of a property that they don't have any equity in, and they're going to be able to go get that moving truck or rent that apartment or do whatever the hell else they want to do. Your five thousand dollars is now going to accelerate your offers over any of the other ones that are going to be at zero, including yours that you that you're going to be doing at zero if you didn't employ this. You quickly accumulate eighteen properties, and the median price of property in the United States is three hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars. It's national average. You have a portfolio of $6 million there. Do the math. You have a $6 million portfolio. $6 million portfolio. You just spent hundred grand to get it. You now have an appreciation, depreciation flow of $500,000 per year. Listen to me, people. You, have a, you, you got your appreciation, depreciation flow of $500,000 a year. You spent $100,000 to get this, which easily equates, I showed you earlier, about the other one, this easily equates to a $1 million ELOC cash position. In other words, you can get an equity line of credit or just take the freaking cash. Someone would definitely pay you because this is a 2X. This is only 2X. It's worth three to three and a half Xs, but it's, we're going to hold it 2X. A 2X on an equity line or a cash position. Just get rid of it. Sell it for a million dollars if you want to. Sell it for a million dollars. Boom, it's gone. You make $900,000 off the $100,000 you just spent. How much damage can you do with a million dollars? We talked to this before with 500. How much damage can you do with a million dollars with an equity line of credit or cash when you got here with 100,000? You started with 100,000 instead of zero. See what you did? You just 10X the whole thing. Cardone special, you take the first $100,000 profit, you repay your contribution. Remember, you spent $100,000. Take the first $100,000, pay it off. Boom, paid off. Whatever you do with your million dollars, if you get an ELOC, you're going to pay it whatever you do first. Again, we can do the same thing and just do it on a massive scale. The first $100,000 pays off the $100,000 that you spent. The rest is all yours. And then I put a PS, by the way, the $6 million portfolio is still yours too. You're still making $500,000 a year in cash flow. $500,000 in cash flow, folks. Yeah, with $100,000. And you just paid yourself off. And you now have a million dollar equity line. Yeah, unless you sold it and you just took the million dollars and walked. Would you want to do that? Would that work out for you? Yeah, I think it might. I think it might. This is the exact same situations we talked about earlier. We're just now accelerating them. We're blowing them all up with the, the credit that Dan's finding you. You got 250 available? Okay. Well, again, we can do the same things we did before with 50 and 100, but let's take it up a step. We're going to do a HUD multifamily rehab purchase. What the hell is a HUD multifamily rehab purchase? All right, HUD's housing and urban development. 
they have these things on their website. We can go out and buy them. Uh, these are places that have gone bad. They went, they were mismanaged. They went back to HUD. They went broke, so forth and so on. There, you can find them around the country. This is one specifically that's available right now. There's 40 units. The purchase price is a million dollars. The rehab bid is setting, HUD has a rehab bid. That this is the remodel of the property that's going to take to bring it back into compliance of $1.5 million. Now, HUD has guaranteed that they will take every one of these units, 100% occupancy at $1,087 a month. So they're saying, hey, you come in and do this, fix this place up, skip this bad property off our hands, fix it up because we're just, it's not what they do. So somebody else do this and we guarantee that we'll fill it 100% occupancy. And if, you, and if there's not 100% occupied, we're going to pay you for 100% occupied. Okay, great. Now, HUD sponsored, you're going to do a 95, this is a 2.5 million, remember, 2.5 million is what we're into this thing for. HUD is going to sponsor a 90% hybrid loan at 6.68%. So we put our $250,000 up on this project. Okay, we're going to get 90% of it. We're going to get a 90% loan for everything from HUD themselves. HUD's going to back this thing. So we're taking out that payment on that loan at 6.68%. It's going to run us $15,000. Just do the math here. Just you can just go go through this pretty quickly. Property taxes, water, maintenance. This is our our monthly cost is thirty three thousand dollars. All right, thirty three thousand dollars is what's going to be costing you. Here's your revenue. You're two hundred fifty thousand dollars into this thing. Forty units. We know what they are. There's your rents. There's your total cost. We did from the project before. You're cash flowing ten thousand five hundred dollars a month at one hundred percent occupancy that HUD's guaranteeing. You're you're making ten thousand five hundred dollars a month off of your money. So we've invested $250,000 into this thing, and we're going to see $130,000 a year and a return. Is that a good return? I think so. That's over 50% return every year for as long as you keep this property. These are nice numbers, but honestly, they're kind of thin. You think, how could it be thin? That's, that's, a, that's inhuman. No, they're kind of thin. Because what else can we do? And everything in real estate investing comes down to what else can you do? What else can you do? You want a 50% return on your money? That's a pretty damn good return on your money. I think we can do better. We go out, remember we talked about JVs, limited partnerships. We do a joint venture with a corporation looking for tax deductions. Now, remember, we have a $2.5 million tax deduction set up in this property because that's you can you can deduct it over time. You can also accelerate that tax deduction and front end load it to about 30% in the first year. That's a conversation for a different day. Uh, we go out and we look at this thing. 30%, by the way, of this would be $800,000. Okay, great. So we sell it to a corporation. We JV with a corporation looking for a tax deduction. It could be an individual. It could be anybody. You, you can sell these things really, really easily. It's done all the time. We sell that whole tax deduction portion of the thing. We can't sell it. We have to joint venture. Uh, we have a joint venture with a with a corporation to take ownership. They get the tax deduction side. They pay five hundred thousand dollars up front for this. They're going to pay five hundred thousand dollars because they're going to front end load their tax deduction and take eight hundred thousand dollars in the first year. They're going to make three hundred thousand dollars in the first year off of their contribution. Who the hell's not going to do that? Right. Exactly. Everyone's going to do it. Now, what are we left with? Two hundred fifty thousand dollar profit. Because remember, we just sold our tax deduction over the life of this thing for $500,000. We're $250,000 into it. We take $250,000 profit, pay ourselves back. We got $130,000 a year net operating income. We just showed you how you broke that down. And $125,000 a year in appreciation on a 112-year average. Are you guys following me on this one? You've got $250,000 profit. We paid ourselves back the $250,000. We're still making $250,000 a year off of the net operating income and your appreciation rate. Making $255,000 a year, and we have $0 into this deal. We doubled our original investment. We already made two hundred fifty dollars off that. We paid ourselves back. We're still making 100% a freaking year on an investment that has already been repaid. And we're still making 100% per year on the same investment that we turned around and now did somewhere else. Want to know what you can do with $250,000? You guys you can do it all. Okay, now, are you, are you ready to leverage some 0% credit 
Are you ready to leverage some 0% guys, credit? Guys, my brain hurts. This is just wow. There's no gatekeeping here, boys and girls. <laughs> this is what well, we do. No, whether you join or don't join, I love you. I appreciate you. There's no love lost at all. There's no manipulation tactics. Literally, I'm just trying to serve and help out somebody that served me. I'm very passionate. I yell a lot. I'm extroverted. Okay. I'm crazy. I'm radical. All right. You get to kind of get inside of what our mentorship was like. It's super fun. Don't take me yelling and cursing. Like, I don't love you. I don't care for people. I absolutely love and care for people. And I just hope that you see that. So I'm done yelling, but I just, I want people to understand that I'm really trying to bring a change into the financial community and even in the real estate space. And so I'm trying to find people with the same core values and the same outlook in life and the same transparency to change this system because it's not fair, it's not right, and it's really nasty, man. It's really, and there's so many ways that you can make money without doing credit repair and funding and ripping people off with crappy courses. Like, do unto others as you want to be done to you. Like, I, I didn't even know if I had the capacity to do this challenge with everything I have going on right now. But I really thank you for being here through hours of your time today. And I hope that you got something of value uh, from this that you could take away, whether you join or not. Love to have you. We want you. We don't need you. Um, but with that being said, let's take questions. And I hope you guys understand our heart behind this is to truly, truly serve you and not to just have a, a, a crappy webinar. All right. So let me take on somebody first here. Let's go 